So what we'll do is since brachialis responds to slower tempo and high symmetric holds, what we'll do is the rope hammer curl with a double contraction at the peak. So you go here, lower halfway down, back up, squeeze one second. We shoot for eight to 10 full reps. Then <clears throat> slightly forward and push your hips back. Better. Elbow stuck to your side and bend slightly forward. Good. That's it. Actually, same thing with triceps. When you're curling up, the elbows should, should go back when you go up. When you go up, elbows go back. So most people, when they do hammer curls, especially with rope, they'll tend to go here. For biceps, that's not a bad idea because one of the, the function of the bicep is to do this. So curling up has some benefits. But for brachialis, what we want, we want to try to like compress the biceps so you actually pull your elbows back when you're curling. Slight forward bend. Got you. It's more into you than it is big. Up. Exactly. It's almost like a, an hybrid between a, a pull and a curl. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It only works if your torso is bent slightly forward. Otherwise, you pull with your back. Ooh. Subtle, but no, for biceps, it's not like we can invent 2,000 different movements. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. But just the difference is in the small details, which favors perfect muscle recruitment. So here, it's body position and technique, yeah. because you can't have one without the other. Oh! 